Hey everybody, this is Paul. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you guys a brief introduction to Git. So what exactly is Git? Well, Git is a version control system, which begs the question, what is a version control system? So a version control system allows us to save snapshots of a software project that we're working on. So if we think of this box right here, as representing a software project that contains multiple files of code. When we work on it for a while, we might want to create a save point, which we can refer to as S1. Then if we wanted to add some more files or do a little bit more work, we'll probably want to go ahead and make a copy. We can create a second save point in our version control system to keep a copy of our project at that modified state as well. And as we continue to modify our project, we can just continue to create these save points so that we can keep a history of our project at different times during its development. So as we continue making these save points in our project, we may get to some point to where we've done some work on our project and for some reason it's just not working right. We have a way to go ahead and revert back to an existing point in our project where everything is working correctly. So this is kind of an illustration of how you might use a version control system in general. You simply create save points of your project as you're developing it, and then that way you don't have to worry so much about making a modification that ruin your project. You always have a point to go back in history where your project is working. So how exactly does Git work? Our save points, which Git calls commits, are saved in these branches. And you can think of a branch as kind of a linked list of save points. And so these branches just connect our save points together. So initially when you create a Git repository, Git initializes a branch which it calls master. And as long as we keep on creating commits or save points, we continue to grow our master branch. So this idea of branching in Git is really a pretty cool feature. Let's say that we've got to save point four here. We like how our project is working right now, but we'd like to implement some sort of feature without really disturbing this main branch of development. So the cool thing about Git is we could create some sort of feature branch off of the main development branch. And then we could just go ahead and do some work on that feature without disturbing the flow of the main development branch. So that way, while one developer is over here working on this feature branch, another developer could continue to modify the main project and continue to save his progress. So developer one continues to work with the main project while developer two creates a feature for the project. So this way, both developers can work on separate features of the project without disturbing one another. Once the feature is finished for the second developer, the feature branch can be merged back into the development branch, creating a new save point. So in addition to Git being able to create save points and manage the project with these branches here, it also has another really cool feature. So if we were to think of this entire version control system, as one unit here, it might look something like this. So let's pretend like these two developers have just kind of been, they've been using the same computer. So all of this version control system is local to a single computer. So what they can do is they can push that information to a location where it can be accessed by other developers. Other developers on the project can go ahead and copy the information from this location and begin contributing to the project as well. So somebody else who makes a copy of this repository can now go ahead and continue working on the project. And then when they've modified it and they'd like to share it, they can go ahead and push it back to this central repository here and other collaborators of the project can go ahead and copy on that person's changes. So this model right here allows each developer involved in the project to have their own copy of the entire repository on their local computer while at the same time contributing to the project by pushing their changes to the central repository and copy changes down from the other developer from the central repository. Git makes collaboration really cool. With Git, you have the ability to make save points, work off of branches, create new branches to manage new features, and create local copies of the entire Git repository on your local machine, as well as share between multiple developers through a central repository. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this introduction to Git. So in the next video, I'll show you guys how to create and begin using a Git repository. So thank you guys for watching. Have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.